Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I don't know how well you can hear me. I hope you can hear me okay. I can't really see a lot. Uh, two seconds and just quickly sorting something. For some reason, the face cam has gone really, really odd. Uh, come on, quickly. Should be it. Lovely. Right, let's see how everyone's doing. So, we're in for an unboxing. Let me know if you can hear me. I hope you can. Uh, I can't really... Well, is that better? Can you see me now? <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've got an unboxing. Uh, I don't know. We normally wait until there's around about 40 people in, 50 people, something like that. So, we'll wait until there's a few in and uh, then we'll get unboxing. Uh, I'm going to unbox the small things first. I've got these little things here. So I'll unbox them first. Uh, then I will do them next and I'll do that last because this this is a new rim uh, but I'm going to set it up on the hub which is this here I've actually got it apart at the moment so I'm going to set it up on this so yeah I'll leave that till last because this will be like an hour stream so <laughs> Uh, sounds all good, excellent, that's fine. Right, so I'll just leave that in there like so for now. Right, so I'll bring you a bit further down if I can. Hang on, there we go. Get this out the road. Move the two mouses. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with notifications or what today. So as I say, I'll wait until about 3-4 minutes into the stream and then we'll get going. But uh, I don't like people missing out on things. For anyone interested, I have received two of these and two of them. Uh, purely, it's there for my dad, so he'll be unboxing them separately. So, while we're waiting, I'm going to unbox this first. This is for my DSLR that I bought and it was wrong. Uh, we'll not go into too much detail. It doesn't output 1080p image. So, uh, yeah, that's the problem. So, I did buy two extra batteries for it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so what I did was I bought two extra batteries for it and uh, for doing live streams with it and then realised it was the wrong camera. I'm going to keep it for taking photos and hopefully, you know, for taking photos of me setup and things like that. So anyway, I bought two batteries because it runs two batteries in the camera and I needed a, obviously an, an extra charger. So I bought this kit from Amazon. Which actually is pretty cool. So it comes with this little like digital charger. I don't know how well you can see. But obviously you can charge two batteries at a time. So it then comes with... I was quite impressed actually. It's a shame I don't actually need it now. But uh, having, having extra batteries for your camera is not a nightmare. So yeah. So they just clip in. I think. Like that there. There you go. So put this here and I'll clip the other one in yeah, it comes with a few nice little extras as well that's really nice all right so and the good thing is it's uh, it's got a USB built into it look I'll show you all right so that's it so that just charges like that obviously it does have a digital display on it as well but underneath has the charging cable so you can just plug that in anywhere you want so I think that's pretty cool I'm going to leave that there. I'm quite happy with that. Right, we've got a few in now. So we'll uh, move on to the next thing. So the next item of the day. Right, so the next item of the day is a set of Fnatic paddle shifters. Uh, these actually are static paddle shifters. So these uh, are a unit that you clip on. Uh, mic up please what well, really I can't, I can't turn it up any more than that it's as loud as it'll go why is it so quiet it's not I mean it is literally as loud as it'll go I can try and use my other mic if you want uh, 
It's becoming an issue, this mic all the time. Alright, as I say, I can't turn it up anymore, so I'll maybe just put it in the shot a bit more so I can actually hear me. Anyway, so these are a unit that you clip onto the Club Sport base. Uh, so it means your paddle shifters don't rotate with your wheel. So if you look at if you look at this steam wheel here, you see how it's got paddle shifters on the back. So when you turn the wheel, they rotate with the wheel. Well, this is so your paddle shifters are separate, and I wanted them for Euro Truck. So, yeah, anyway, that's what we're going to get on with. Mic's fine. Uh, oh, the mic's okay, is it? All right, okay, brilliant. So, let's get into it. Come on. Why do they make it so hard to get into boxes? They always do have nice boxes, like. So, this is the box. Club Sport shifter kit. So how does one get in? Ah, so there you go. That's what they actually look like. I know the light's a bit bright here. So I don't know if they come already built or how, how they actually come. So, oh, they do. So normal stuff. You've got the instructions, obviously. The good thing is as well is the red. So that's one. All right, I'll lie these out here a little bit so you can see. All right, so one paddle shifter here we've got another paddle shifter here we have some extra bits which we don't need at the moment I'll tell you what look at that it comes really really nicely packaged so these are the screws for your base uh, and obviously then you've got the actual base plate in the bottom so we'll take this out how does this come this is confusing bear with me Right, some little micro screws. And we've got so that that's the back. That's how it's actually put into the form. So we might as well get this out. Right, uh, we've got that way. Right, there we go. So we'll build the unit. So this is the bit that goes on the wheelbase, and obviously that is the shifters. So I'm assuming. There's some instructions. I should really assume there's some instructions. Right, how does this work? Right. Hang on. Oh yeah, that's it, right. That's fine. So We'll just get this together uh, by uh, with my family. Oh, okay, Michael, take care. Sorry, take it easy, mate. All right, held for review. Rod turn up. It was low when you were opening stuff, but it's fine when you face it. Oh, all right, hang on then. How about we stick this over here? Right. Right. Tell us if that's any better. That should be better. Uh, right. Anyway, let's get into this. Right. The only thing is, normally you get a, you do get an Allen key. They don't normally leave you without an Allen key, do fanatic. But today, there is no Allen key, so. We'll just uh, put these together roughly. They're going to look really nice on my wheel as well. They're all CNC'd as well, which is nice. And uh, and again, don't forget, my dad's got a set of these as well. So Looks nice with the red. Yeah, no, I agree completely. It's good now, right, okay, well, 
If you want me to actually put them on the wheelbase so you can see what they look like on the wheel, I can. But uh, you will, you won't have much sound. So I can put them on at the end just so you can see what they look like if you want. All right. I know you can't really see much. Just to warn you as well, the farming stream will be a little bit uh, cut down, I think. I'm going to struggle with the streams today, to be honest. I'm, I'm just running out of time constantly. Alright, hello Philip mate. Bob A is here. How are you doing Bob A? Or is it Bob B? No, it's Bob A. Oh yeah, that's it. Bob A bong. Yeah, that's it. Got you. Alright. So... Basically how these work, right? Obviously they are fully adjustable, so you stick them on your wheelbase like so and then That's a paddle shifter. So as far as I know I can remove See you see how the uh, See how they're at an angle these I'm pretty sure I can move this so it's straight So I'm just going to do that now And then we'll get on and we'll unbox the what, what do you want me to unbox next anyway? Do you want me to unbox the shoes or the F1 wheel? F1 wheel or shoes next? Alright, I really need to put a mat on here for when I'm... Uh, I'm going to end up scratching my desk. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's what it is. It must come like this just for the box. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's what I was expecting to see. Right, I'll show you, look. You'll see the difference. Right, so I was ex this is what I was expecting to see. So, obviously, when it comes in the box, it comes like this, and the paddle shifter feels really odd. So I don't know if you can see, but how it's at a slant. So if you were actually operating it, your fingers like slip off it. But you can turn it like this. So now it's a proper paddle shifter. But that, that's much better. So that goes on my wheelbase like this. And then you can use that. But it stays still. So, and you can just, it's got thumb screws with it, right? So you screw these into the wheelbase like this. Oh, hang on. This is really difficult. So you screw these into the wheelbase. So it's like a, a little washer and then you can just slide these on and then slide them off when you want. So I think it's really, really, I think it's a cracking idea. Uh, and you, you see, you can just pop these on and then take them off. So I'm just going to change the other shifter around and then we'll go on to whatever they want next. Shoes, uh, boots, uh, safe belt, last wheel, shoes, F1, F1, F1. F1, F1, the boots next. I don't know which one's won. It might be the uh, the F1, I think. That's fine. There's nothing to do on the F1 wheel, so it's just uh, it's just a point of unboxing it. There's no like, uh, there's nothing to bolt on like this. And then I've got a, uh, I've got another wheel. That I'm going to do last, but uh, it'll take a bit of time because I need to set it up on the. I need to set it up on the hub. I'll be so careful with the aluminium, man. Alright. I hate tightening aluminium up, it strips so easily. Alright. Come on, go in. I'm going to be using these tonight, you see, so I thought I would just put them on now. Does not want to go in this. Be so careful, man. There we go, she's in. We're in. Excellent. Right, so that's my paddle shifter set, ready to go. So I'll just put them straight on my wheelbase and then I've got 
they feel absolutely stunning as well oh all right first job done now my desk is going to start getting full so we'll uh, get rid of the box Right, Mark, what's your job? I don't have a job at the moment, buddy. Mark on my PC, I have the correct graphics to run. Uh, dedicated server, it starts lagging and FPS. Yeah, it depends on mods as well. Mods, you need to turn your graphics down as well if you're going online. Right, everyone wants to see the old Fnatic wheel next. So, uh, F1... You have to drink something from the shoe. <laughs> right. Anyway, let's go. Again, it's going to be about an hour stream in the end, I would imagine. Uh, because I've got... I want to set up uh, the hub as well, so... Tell you what, it don't have... It might come far for that stuff, but it doesn't have to go... They don't have to pack it well. Alright, so box in a box as per normal from Fnatic. So bear in mind I wanted the uh, the McLaren GT3. The McLaren GT3 isn't actually purchasable at the moment because the pre-orders are up and uh hang on, there we go. Yeah. The pre-orders are up at the moment and uh, and they're not actually got a release date yet. So I, I went for this, so I had an F1 wheel. My dad really wants to start iRacing with me and that. And if he wants to go on the F1 stuff, it's just not that good uh, with a big wheel, in my opinion. So I've got an F1 wheel behind me, uh, the Thrustmaster one. So it was just basically to replace it. So as I say, I will intend in the future to go for the the carbon fibre one. Right, instructions. I'm sorry for all this mess on here, guys. Right, so we've got instructions. We've got some more gel. It's not good for cats, if anyone knows. <laughs> right, so it comes in a little bag. So we'll take the foam off. Take that off. Take that off. All the Fnatic stuff comes in bags, it's lovely. There is a little screw in there, but we don't need it, so that's why I'm not getting it. Alright. I'll be used. I'll, I'll put this straight on the shelf today, so the box can go in the cupboard. So, here we go. Do you keep uh, empty boxes uh, or throw them? I keep them all. Uh, just if you ever want to resell in the future it's far far better to post it in the box it came in it looks better t from a selling point of view but also it's safer to, to, to post the item you know at least they give you a handle yeah uh, all right enjoy do you enjoy what you do well, yeah I just game so yeah I enjoy playing games oh Oh, oh, as much as the, the McLaren wheel is so nice, this is still an absolutely beautiful wheel. As I say, I didn't go for the carbon fibre one because it was just a lot more money for what you get. So that is the Fnatic Club Sport F1 wheel. It is really, really nice. Uh, I, I I think it's a little bit narrow because it's only like 270 or 260 but it has got like LEDs in it uh, obviously it's got the standard club sport quick release and then it's got the adjustable I don't know how well you can see this but it has got adjustable paddle shifters uh, which are there so you can you can adjust them for spacing and that as well you can also adjust the throw on them with this here and then they do have nice uh, like Alcantara wrapped handles. So you, the good thing with this is I probably didn't show you on my BMW wheel, which I probably should have done. But uh, you get you get like a joystick on the left. So this is a joystick, and then you can press it in as well. And then also on here, this is a D-pad, so you get up or down, left and right. 
it's not a joystick it's a d-pad but then you get to rotate it so you can rotate it and you can press it in so you get a lot a lot of buttons with it and uh no i'm really really happy with it i'd say it's very very nice so we'll leave that on there as well i'll pop the bag back in the box yeah i forgot to show you guys on me on this one so this is my bmw rim which i bought which does want to wash uh, but yeah that has the same so like in ets2 it's really nice to look around with that stick so and then you've got the same with that so you can rotate it all right there's no clutch not on the f1 wheel no no the mclaren gt3 wheel there is a clutch yep uh clutch on pedals pedal shifter doesn't require no the, the the modern f1 wheels do require a clutch but uh this this one doesn't so this will be the last thing to unbox properly and then i've got a rim that i want to unbox and i want to mount the rim to this fanatic hub here so i've got the hub actually apart at the moment because i'm going to move all the buttons to fit the new wheel on so we'll do that at the end of the stream because I, I, I like doing it it'd be nice to do it on stream uh otherwise i'm only going to go off stream to uh to do it anyway so right here we go so pedal in f1 car uh steam wheel i know there is i'm saying this this steam wheel when it was brought out back when fanatic released it they were they, they weren't using clutch paddles so it was just it's bought out as an f1 wheel it's not again it's not copied off an f1 wheel so it's the same as the thrustmaster ones copied off a ferrari wheel and it doesn't have clutch paddles either so isn't gaming bad for you if you have no no if you have epilepsy or you have photosympathy or whatever it's called epilepsy where it's flashing images and that causes a seizure i don't have that my my epilepsy uh, bleh, my seizures were caused by a head injury i had all right so we've got a nice ooh, well that's nice so you got a nice sparkle bag check that out that's actually not bad that i need to put that up on the wall all right Sparkle bag, and here's my race boot. So this is this is the ones I went for. Hopefully they'll uh, withstand uh, the abuse I'll give them. See the main thing I want the boot for, and I'm going to get absolutely annihilated in the comments for this. And I know racing boots on a simulator, I want to you know such and such. Same as the seat, uh, same as the seat belts. I don't like wearing them. I honestly don't because I have to wear them so it's not enjoyable to wear them because you have to wear them like being in a wheelchair you don't you do, people probably don't enjoy it but they have to use it to help them seat belts are the same they hold me in the rig when I have a seizure simple as problem is when I have a seizure my legs go really stiff and my body goes stiff my feet go through the pedals and that's when I hurt my feet so my feet go straight through the pedals and catch on things like I ripped a toenail off the other week and uh, that's why I've been struggling with the driving side of it so i want the d's just to protect my feet i could have just bought a pair of trainers granted but i thought well if i'm gonna do it you may as well do it properly so that's the new sparkle boot I'll tell you what they come in a nice box photo sensitive uh, yeah that's the one yeah uh i got some cheap gloves for why wheel uh the sparkle ones were a little much yeah no i agree i'm gonna try these on just uh, to make sure they fit before i do my other thing all right uh some nice boots well as i say people were generous enough to donate to get something nice and it would be ridiculous if i use if i use that money to go and buy something cheap and then it only lasted me a couple of months and then i'm like oh my boots are knackered then i just wanted to get the best i could and I think I think I've done that, you know. So 
they weren't the most expensive boots on the market and they weren't the cheapest so yes it is possible to break the pedals during the season it's possible to break anything i broke a monitor a few times uh, i smashed my phone multiple times i always break phones <laughs> always uh, but it's just part of it. Do you just stop and go, right, I'm going to break something. Let's not do anything in life. No, you don't. You just get on with it. Right. I'm not doing these laces nicely at the moment. I just want to make sure they definitely, 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 definitely fit. Uh. Hang on. Oh, God, they're tight. Oh, I'm in. Toes are there. Perfect. Oh, they are nice. They're comfortable, them, like. Oh, I tell you what, they are nice. They're tight to get on, but my God. There we go. New Sparkle boot. Uh, I'm running out of... I'm running out of desk room here. All right, the boots are going to need to go over here. There's one thing for sure, if you... If you've been a member of the channel for any amount of time, you'll know I do look after things. On on the plus side, I do really, really look after stuff. Right, so we're on with the other wheel. I'm going to read chat a little bit because this this is going to take a while. So, all right. For anyone interested, I did order two wheels. Uh, I ordered two of these and two of the other ones. Obviously, what one for me, one for my dad. My other wheel that I'm waiting for hasn't come in yet. But I am waiting on my new camera for the channel as well. So I will be doing another unboxing this week with the new camera. Uh, and then obviously with the new wheel as well. So, Right. What the hell do you get in here? So, the reason for this wheel. It's a wheel I always wanted. And it's very much the same. Oh, I do like a catalogue. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, oh, they do bobble hats. I love bobble hats. Uh, no, on a serious note, though, uh, I always wanted the Fanatic to sell their own wheels for the Fanatic hub. So they sell their own, but they're really expensive. And I, I spotted this company, and they were about half the price. So I thought, I'll tell you what, when everything was going nuts at the weekend, I decided to go for this. So this is sort of a, more of a racing orienta orientated wheel, which I do intend on racing more on the channel, which is one of the points of it. Uh, so health video, yeah, it wasn't very nice to do, I must admit. So basically this needs, I need to modify, move these buttons and that in to fit this on there. Because obviously, as you can see at the moment, it doesn't fit. So that's that's the plan, but it's obviously suede. It's really, really, really nice. Uh, obviously from eBay, it's an eBay store. So obviously I've got my dad one as well. Dad always uses his F1 wheel for everything you see. And this is actually the same, pretty much the same diameter as the F1 wheel. So he's actually, look, he's going to use this more. So yeah, really, really pleased. It's Twin Cam Mark II. Where's Twin Cam Mark II at? I haven't seen him in. <laughs> I didn't see Twin, Ma Twin Cam Mark 2 in the chat. Right, so this is my Fanatic Hub which we bought the other day. So I'm going to alter a few bits on here. Somehow. Alright, so we're going to move a few bits on here so we can... Uh, it's going to be quite hard to do so you guys can see which is all. But uh, I'll, do, I'll do my best. Hey, right, how's chat doing? Uh, yeah, th there's no goals on this one, yeah. Th there is a goal. There's a goal at the moment on the other, uh, on my big computer, but I haven't put it, I don't put it on these videos. There's no point. Right, so, how does this work then? So, I want to get that closer, so, do I just... So I've never ever taken this apart yet. So it, obviously the hub is fully adjustable, but I've never adjusted it yet. So I'm just intrigued on uh, 
you don't need to do this every time you change your wheel I'm gonna do it so it fits my sparkle wheel and then just leave it uh, fully in that's what my dad did so that's what we'll do right gotta go see you later yeah this is the last uh, this is the last unboxing anyway just that wheel so it was I knew it wouldn't be that long a stream and uh, and I thought I may as well fit the wheel while I'm live seems daft not to it's a bit fiddly right so I've moved that in so that one should fit now I think is that right oh yeah I think that's it Alright, so also I should be able to fit that on as well still. Yeah, right, that's fine. Alright. Right, when you're farming, I'm going to farm after this, but I don't think it'll be for long, I'm really sorry. Uh, I, I'm, I'm running, I'm just, I'm running out of time in the day, I've got to be honest. Right. I had, a bit, I had a bit of an incident this morning, which has put me behind, so I don't really want to talk about it, but. Yeah, so it's fine, we're getting it. Right, I think that was better on there yeah oh no 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 right so I think yeah I think I'll go there with that Sorry about this, it will take a little bit of time, but if you want to ask any questions, I'm here. Uh, ask away. Right, what am I doing? I'm fitting a new steam wheel. I thought I may as well do it when I'm live. If it annoys a lot of people, I'll just end the stream and I'll just do it on my own. It doesn't bother me either way. I'm still going to be sitting here doing it, so... See, once you know where you want it, that's it. It just stays there. Come on. Doesn't help that my ratchet's broken. Right, so. That's that done. Come on, ratchet. Why is everything I own broken? Alright. So that's that one done. Are you streaming Euro Truck tonight? No. No, as far as I'm aware, I'm going to be doing... So where did I put that one? Ah, that's nicer. Yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah, as far as I'm aware, I'm going to do ETS. Uh, ATS, sorry. And just about all the th uh, three of the same monitors you have on your desk. What do you think about them? Uh, any problems? The only fault I can give you about the my desk monitors is the bezels are quite thick. Is 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 the only thing. If you're going to be gaming in triples, unless you try and hide the side ones, if you look, the bezels are very very thick. 
is 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 the only is the only thing I can say bad about them. I love them. Don't get me wrong, and they were they were cheap. They <laughs> they, they were very very cheap. So uh, I really can't fault them really when you think about it. But that, that's the only thing. I didn't want them for just gaming. So I wanted them for, for doing other things as well. So for me, they suit my purpose very, very well. Right, so, in essence. Right, so that should go on here now. Hang on. Right, so that in there. This one in here. I'll need to nip these up like I'm just trying to measure it for this wheel. Right. So. That's that. Sit that on there like this. Nice. Oh, I like it. Right, so they... If I sit them out like this a bit more. Alright, sit them on the top. Lush! That works. Alright, let's tighten that up. So I just want to sit these on the... Just, just on the top a bit like that there. Alright. So we'll just nip these up like this. Same with that one. Beautiful, right. So, wire in there, wire in there. Like so. The only downside is they have very long wires on these button pods because it's so adjustable. Uh, they do come with really, really long wires. But it is very, very adjustable. But it's also very fiddly, but... Bear with us. Come on. Hey, some people buy the hub and never adjust anything on it at all. Well, I didn't buy it for that. Oh, jobs are good. Right, so flip this over like this. Sorry about my big bald head. Do you ever get more any more luck with train sim? No, I didn't. I am. I'll go back to it. Don't you worry. I will definitely go back. But stuff like race room and that, I'm really wanting to get back into now. Now my seizures are, you know, quite far, few and far between. It will make e racing easier. It's so hard to race and then crash and then race and then crash and just keep doing it over and over. It starts to get right in your nerves. Right. Can't wait to try out my new boots and that. Try my new F1 wheel. Try my stack of paddle shifters. Very, very lucky. I've had one guy who's in the comments of the latest video on the Euro truck. So the video I've literally just done as a guy. He's been commenting the last couple of days. He is not happy about the donations at all. He was one of the reasons I actually... Uh, he's one of the reasons I, stop, I, I wanted to stop doing the donations. What uh, make is the ratchet? Oh, it's just Silvercrest, mate. It's nothing there. Uh, I lost all my good tools in the garage. The one that flooded. I've still got them, but they're just really, really badly corroded. Alright. Oh, no, he's not happy, like. I'm going to delete the comment, but you're more than welcome to go and read it before I delete it. 
But uh, oof, not not a happy bunny, and it's a shame because I I used to speak to him a lot. It's a shame he feels like that, and he you know he says that I don't talk to people anymore. Who you know the only ones I talk to is the ones that don't hate. But it's really really not true at all. It's not even remotely true. I don't mind people talking awfully about me if it's true. Alright. So. Fanatic hub. Jobs are good. I can use my truck wheel. Which is like that. Buttons are a little bit far away. But that's fine. Can I actually bolt it on? Is that the question? Oh yeah, I can, yeah. That's fine. Alright, and then this one. Right, so the only thing that's a problem at the moment is these need to go up a little bit. That needs to... Ah, this this is the problem. My dad said this would be the problem. So this sits right in the way. Alright. So I move that. If I get that shifted. Hang on. Right, so what's that like? I knew, because it's a small wheel, so I knew it was going to be tight to get it on. I didn't really want to take any of the pods off, you see. I like, I like all the pods. Right, we'll try that. I'll see what that's like. I think we actually, did we get? The really nice thing about this really, really cheap wheel is you actually get black screws. Someone said that it would look better with black screws, so you actually get black screws, which is nice, if, the, if they're the same size, which I think they are. Nice. Right, he is talking, uh, taking, uh... Oh, I know, Gary, I know. No, I feel, I feel the same, to be honest with you. Alright, it's on the Euro Truck stream in the comments. He's true. I. Ah, he is true. Okay. Oh, Darren. Well, sorry, buddy. Alright, uh... Mark. Take the dogs out for a walk. Yeah, I did die. Uh, me and Jim. My wife's dad. So, we will be needing out again about six, like. Uh, right, my uh, legend. <laughs> no, I know that. That's a bit. I keep getting that, mate, man. I know. Oh, that looks nice on there. Right, so that's the wheel on. I'm just gonna adjust my paddle shifters. I'm just uh, gonna run the bmw rim tonight anyway so I'm, i want to use this on uh, i racing see what it's like with this love the setup and the wheel ah cheers buddy I, I, I'm pleased like I, I haven't tried it yet but I 
I know I feel bad when I miss people because they just assume that I'm missing them because you know they're not donating and it's just not it's just not right. That's just not the case. Oh. Nice. Don't know if bear with me. I know I know I'm messing about a lot. If you want me to just leave, I can leave. Uh, but I just want to try something. I haven't tried it yet, but what I'm interested in What I need is it I need to just get myself a set of Allen keys man. This tool's just not gonna cut it. Right, we'll leave it for now. I'll just move that one in. What I was gonna do is you can put the F1 paddle shifters on. I was interested with this wheel. I think the F1 paddle shifters will be nice. Uh, TJ, uh, I donated. Awesome, buddy. Thank you. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you donated, I would have thanked you at the time as well. Right, Shannon, nice vape. Ah, cheers. Which one are you talking about? That one over there. Oh no, you'll be on about this one. <laughs> right, that's both the shifters moved in for now. So obviously with this hub, you can take off the... So you can take this off here. You can take this paddle shifter off and you can put these ones on. So they're really small. With this size of wheel, that might be better. But they are, they, I mean, they're still nice. You can still get to them really nice. But uh, I think it looks nice on, you can get to all the buttons nicely, uh, you can move them a little bit if need be, but uh, yeah, I mean I'm more than happy with that, got the little LCD display here, that just you can take that out and pop it back in carefully. So yeah, really really happy with it. So we've got that and the F1 wheel as well, absolutely beautiful, made a right old mess, but uh, yeah, very very happy. Right, uh, Twin Mayo, I don't know, did you see? I didn't, buddy, sorry. I apologise. Right, uh, Transport, what videos, the guy's comment, uh, he's trying his best to read all the comments. I, I, I really do, Craig, I really do, I honestly do. Right, I'm going to disappear. Darren, the uh, majority of your viewers, including me, support you 100%. Don't let a small majority of haters get you down. Uh, keep up the good work. No, mate, honestly, I'm not I'm not doing it anymore. So, uh, we had a really nice chat yesterday in the farming stream. Everybody said about, we spoke about the goals and everything. Everything was discussed. So, everybody's happy. So, the goals are staying how they are for now and uh, everyone's happy about it there was more hate created by me not having the goals on that was the problem so all right i'm going to disappear uh i'm going to change over this wheel back to this one for now so we've got something to farm with and uh, i'll see you all in the next video i don't know how long i'll be farming i honestly uh i honestly don't so i'll try and farm as much as i can but uh i'm, I'm just there's so much to do here everything's a mess <laughs> so I'll, I'll be should be on in the next hour i would think uh but i'll only be on till about half past six so i'll, I'll do my best guys i am trying uh, i'm sorry the farm content is doing without but with the unboxing streams and that it is it is a lot harder as well so right i'm gonna call it a day there big shout out to everybody uh did you do you gonna play? I'm gonna play next yet. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't a live chat in. All right, see you later, Mark. Yeah, see you later, Dean. And uh, you go. Yeah, take care, buddy. I'll see you all in the next one anyway. I do really appreciate all the support and uh, all the kind comments. You are very nice. I really do. If it might, if it doesn't come across that I appreciate it, then it really should because I do. See you all next time. Take care and uh, yeah, catch us all in the next hour.